Hi there and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by the networking. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to make scotch tape in Photoshop. Now this can be very useful when you're making a clipboard or something like that. So first of all we're going to go to file new and select web and now we're going to import any photo and picture. Click on open and I'm going to use this picture of me just on a final approach in a bottom end and hit I'm going to edit and select select all edit copy and over here edit paste now we have our picture we're just going to transform it to a small one. Okay. So now we're going to disable this layer and we're going to unlock the background layer and we're going to fill in a pattern. You can use any pattern but make sure it looks more like a table pattern. And make sure to use some of these areas so that you can find the best pattern for a table mm -hmm. so we have we can use this or maybe this or maybe this or maybe this ok let's just, just use this one I already used it before I'm just going to fill it in in the background layer and there we go so now we're going to reveal this our picture of him, picture of us and we just rotate it a bit holding so control and T transform now for the scotch tape part we're going to create a new layer take our rectangle marquee tool and we're going to make a rectangle right about there go to edit select fill 50% gray mm, ok control D to deselect and now we're going to add some new style drop shadow so use global lighting uh, to raise the distance should be 1 and the size should be 1 now for the power and emboss part we're going to use we're going to uncheck use global light and and we're going to increase our opacity of the highlight mode to 100 and shadow mode to 100 and we're going to increase a little bit of opacity just a little bit and we decrease our size a little bit and decrease our depth a little bit so now that we have here we got okay and now we're going to change the blend mode which is right over here to screen so now we have our tape effect now for the edging part let's zoom in holding control and spacebar and I'm going to use our freehand lasso tool I'm going to draw a shape like structure right over there and make another one right over here and select lead control D and now we have a tape Hit Ctrl T to transform, rotate it a bit and paste it over here. You can make copy right over here, but make sure you don't have the same edge. So take the lasso to again and make a new figure this time. Delete one more over here. Delete. So there we have it. Now for more effect on the picture layer. Going to add a little bit of power and amber so it looks like it is spaced it size very little bit and depth should be very little about 52 there and we're going to add a drop shadow that's it we're going to just we're going to leave it to default we're not going to change anything click on ok and now there we have it our scotch tape thanks for watching this tutorial hope you like it Please make sure you watch my other tutorials too and 
keep on subscribing, rating and commenting on my videos. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you next time.